Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over a related rates example that involves um, a rising balloon. So before we um, go ahead and get started with the problem, let's uh, take a look at the strategy for solving related rates problems. All right, so these are the strategies um, the, for solving related rates problem, okay? So first, we, you want to create a well-labeled diagram um, where applicable and assign variables to all the given quantities and quantities to be determined. Step two, you write an equation involving the variables whose rates of change um, either are given or are to be determined, okay? Now, this is the tricky part. In some problems, you will be given a variable whose rate of change is not provided. Now, the goal is you always want to substitute out that variable in order for you to be able to solve the problem, okay? Step three, you use the chain rule to implicitly differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t and then in part four which is the easy part you substitute into the resultant equation all known values for the variables and their rates of change and solve for the required rate of change okay so these are the steps that we'll be following in solving this problem all right, so let's take a look at the question. Notice I have my strategy um, here on the right corner. So it says, a hot air balloon is rising vertically from a level platform. A range finder 400 feet from the lift point is tracking the hot air balloon. All right, so as indicated in our strategy here, first thing you want to do um, is create a well-labeled diagram. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's say we have um, a situation like this. At the point up here, we have our hot air balloon. So let's say um, that's a hot air balloon right here. Let's label that. <clears throat> so this is a hot air balloon. And then at this point, somewhere um, from the lift point, um, we have a um, range finder okay the range finder is right here and the range finder this is the this point right here is the lift point the lift point um is 500 feet from the 400 feet from the um range finder so this is 400 Okay, so let's call the height, the vertical height of the balloon from the lift point, let's call it H. And then the angle of elevation, you see this angle right here? Let's call it theta. And then this is the angle of elevation, angle of elevation. All right, and then this H right here is the height of the balloon. All right, okay, so what um rates are we given in this problem okay because we want to write an equation involving those rates so um let's look at the problem we have let's see um the angle of elevation is increasing at so angle of elevation increasing this piece right here angle of elevation increasing is d theta dt instantaneous rate of change of the angle of elevation okay this 
it is the given um, rate, okay? The given rate. And then down here, it says, how fast is the balloon rising, okay? fast the balloon is rising so this rising measure right here that is the change in the height this is the h dt this right here is the rate to be determined all right so what variables do we have we have theta and h we need an equation that relates h and theta in this situation right here okay so we need to relate h and theta this is a nice problem because we do not have any other variables that we have to substitute in order to solve this problem. We just have two variables, and that's excellent. All right, so how can we relate h and theta in this situation? Since this is a right triangle, we're going to make use of right triangle trigonometry. All right, so you remember um, Sokatoa from pre-calculus, so Katoa, or even trig. We know in this triangle, this side, let's label the sides, this side is the opposite. That H, this side is the hypotenuse. And this side is the adjacent. In this problem, the hypotenuse does not play a role. Okay? So we can just eliminate that. We're given the adjacent and H plays a role in determining the rate at which the height of the balloon is changing. So um, what trig ratio, sine, cosine, or tangent relates the opposite and the adjacent? O and A, it's 10, right? So the formula that relates H and theta is tan of theta equals opposite, which is H over adjacent which is 400 okay because here we know that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent we all know this from trig and pre-calculus okay now one mistake that most students make is they substitute before differentiating so you want to be careful never substitute before you differentiate you want to implicitly differentiate first, as indicated in step three, before you substitute and solve. All right, so let's differentiate implicitly first. So what do I mean by differentiating implicitly? We're gonna differentiate the entire equation with respect to time. Okay, we wanna find d dt of this entire equation. On the left side, the derivative of tan theta is secant square theta using the chain rule d theta dt on the right side we can factor out one over 400 derivative of h is just one using the chain rule dh dt okay so now we have differentiated now we can proceed to substitute and solve for the rate that is to be determined okay so we know what theta is. <clears throat> We're asked to find um, how fast the balloon was rising when um, the angle of elevation was 60 degrees and the angle of elevation was changing at 0.1 degrees per minute. So that tells us that theta is 60 degrees and the h, the, the theta dt is 0 0.1 okay minutes um, degrees per minute <laughs> okay now let's uh, substitute and solve this is now just a simple algebra problem so after making a substitution we're going to have secant 60 degrees square the theta dt is 0 0.1 equals 1 over 400 dh dt. All right, dh dt, that's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and um, solve that. Secant 60 degrees, remember um, cosine 60 is 1 half. So secant 
is going to be the reciprocal of that, which is 1 half to the negative 1, which is 2. Okay? So we have, um, this is 2, 2 square times 0.1 as a fraction is 1 over 10 equals 1 over 400 the H G T. So let's go ahead and isolate the H D T. Okay? So you just multiply both sides by 400 over 1. 400 over 1. That yields... <clears throat> Where did my work go? Okay, there you are. So that yields um, 400 times 4 times 1 over 10 equals the H D T. Okay, so this zero cancels out with that zero. Four times ten is four times forty is one sixty. So the H D T is equal to one hundred and sixty um, feet per minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down the meaning of our answer. The balloon is rising at 160 feet per minute. Okay? So that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. If you have any questions or would like to request um, any tutorials to be made, uh, feel free to include it in the comments section below this video. More clips can be found on math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.